Okay, so Pisces, here we are. Stay with us. Let's show the beach for a minute. Uh, we're going to do your heart spread. This is for April of 2021. A year that will most certainly live in uh, infamy. One way or another. Welcome. So, it's beautiful here. And um, we're going to get out ahead of it a little bit with your April heart spread. And this is for anyone that's coupled or it's going to read whoever's in your heart, whoever you think of, when you think of relationships. That's going to be what we're going to pick up on here. And um, we'll look at you and your other person, your advice from the source for the relationship as a whole as well. So we'll see how that goes. Sometimes it's not exactly the same. And your advice and relationship advice. And you really look at that. <laughs> but we'll see. Okay. So, Pisces, here we go. We have the Ten of Cups. Nice. Look at you. You are the ready. The Justice. Mm -hmm. Wow. The Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. ah. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to help. The, thank Just you. Just going up with the Eight of Eight Wands. Eight of Wands. The Lovers. You're a Pisces and Lovers. Look at you. Huh. The What's Six that, of Wands. The Ace of Swords about. The Page of Cups. Uh -huh. And the King of Pentacles. Okay. Let's get these together. Make the shape of the yeah, heart. Make this, yeah. I'm a little bit Asperger's, I guess, you know? Come no, think you of are it. not. Like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay have it. So now that you have a proper <laughs> heart, babe. But look at you, Pisces. This is very Pisces. So you're coming in very Pisces. And you're very loving. And you're all about you know, love and happy family. I, I'd be tempted to think this is uh, someone's married in a, a happy, fulfilling relationship here. You know? Because this is your energy, like how you're feeling around relationships kind mm -hmm. of before this relationship energy comes into it. And um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to distinguish between here and here. This is you once you're in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Any difference in the way the Pisces might be because like like in general, say we're a happy person, and then all of a sudden we're in a relationship and now it's unhappy, you can make kind of an assumption there's something about the relationship making you happy. But if you're already unhappy, you know what I mean, you can maybe pull it in. So you mm -hmm. look like a happy person who's feeling fulfilled and you probably care about soulmates and everything, you know. But now once you're in a relationship, you have this ace of swords. We'll see how is the person in there. Yeah. The person, the it's other leap person card is the person. justice. You remember, justice is about balance. So and it's the eight of wands. He's too defensive. Maybe it's about the ace of wands. Ace of four, defensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the wands are actions, and a lot of actions. Um, you could kind of see that as an argument. Um, where they would be throwing a lot, uh, you know what I mean, an argument where your person, Pisces, is really just throwing everything at you, boom, 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 mm -hmm. but you've kind of got one point, like just as an example, I don't know if that's what's going on, mm -hmm. you slept with them, is your point, this is the ace of swords, you know, this is like, you've got one point, you're going to drive it home, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, it's... It only, it's a very important one, <laughs> right? Because you're in the position, of, this is how you're feeling. And they're like, this is them kind of like, but I was, you know, drunk, but I was, you know, wasn't thinking. And uh, my keys and my dog ate my schoolwork and my, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, a lot, could be, could be. That's an odd combination because we do compare. Uh -huh. This is your feeling in the relationship and that's theirs. And, um... They're feeling a lot more energetic, and and you're it's a little bit of a defensive energy or a projective energy, or at least feeling like there's something maybe you really need to say. That's another way. Mm -hmm. There's something you're holding back. You really need to say it. And then with your advice being the lovers, it's something about love. Mm -hmm. I mean, love's on your mind. You're the Ten of Cups, you know, and your advice is the lovers. For the relationship, this is advice for the relationship. I mean, yes, it's a choice, but mm -hmm. it, it wouldn't be here if you didn't have a strong relationship. There was a love involved, at least on your part, you know. Um, 
The other one had the six of wands. For their advice. Mm -hmm. In the and relationship. Not to mention underneath how they have the eight of wands. Now, they're coming in with the Libra car here. Uh, so their energy mm -hmm. around relationships is fair and balanced. But sometimes this can be a little cold feeling to a water sign person like a Pisces. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like you, know, um, you tell them something that means something to you, you feel so strongly, mm -hmm. and they understand it, but they point out that it's no different than what everyone else feels, or mm -hmm. that's the balance, and that to some kind of feel like, well, no, you're supposed to understand that this is a very special feeling only for me, and you don't want to hear, like, the intellectual side of it, you know, it could be this person, you know, and they're coming in with this energy I don't know if this is something that went wrong but their advice here is to um, even use more energy and to be kind of proud of what they did it could be also well, this is also what's challenging them maybe you know but um, this could be sort of compared to the eight of ones maybe take responsibility for your actions could be mm -hmm. saying too uh, see. you know they should they, they take they made a lot of actions uh -huh. And they need to maybe take own that, you know, uh, yes. because you know for the outcome it's good. This is the advice is the page of cups here, mm -hmm. and now as advice for the relationship, it's the King of Pentacles. So it's a solid relationship. Solid relationship, but I think there needs to be as the advice for relationship. There's something about love, like and you know I see over on your side. There's a lot of cups and a lot of love and emotion. You know, Pisces. But in the other side, no. So, it's your actions. person needs to reach into the emotional part of themselves and give you something deep, you know, of themselves, I think. And maybe there's a part of it, too, because this is for the relationship, where maybe as much as you want that deep emotional connection, you're a little bit afraid of it, too, you know, for a lot of reasons. I could see that happening. But if you do this, and it looks like you will, you end up here with the King of Pentacles in, in a very solid position here. Mm -hmm. And with the King of Pentacles and the outcomes, these can be people that work, if they don't work together, they support each other well, and they have a stable, non-drama filled uh, life um, uh, of abundance, you know. And, being very solid so like if you're in a marriage you're going to stay in the marriage if you're not you're going to probably get married uh, or move into a situation that's in whatever way is secure for you and solid and responsible you know uh, this is not a you won't have to worry about becoming a couple that goes bankrupt mm -hmm. you know but there's something emotional here that needs to happen you know and uh, these things you, you got to know what it is. I mean, it could be so many things. But I think it needs to come from your person, you know. Um, kind of like what I was saying. Maybe they're a little bit in their head, your person, and you're more in your heart. And maybe you need them to speak your love language. And maybe, you know, it could be like, I just need to hear I love you or something. Because a couple, page of cups, this is like, kind of, you know what this is? It's like, honey, I'm asking you this. Or whatever it is you need to hug, or after you have sex, I need to hug, or I need to kiss, or, or I need you to tell me you love me. Sometimes it's not that much to ask for. It's a page of cups. You're not asking for the world. You're asking for something pretty small, mm -hmm. but very significant to you emotionally, mm -hmm. huh? Around love, and I think if you get that, you'll you'll be very solid here, uh, Pisces. I like it for mm -hmm. April. So, okay, amigos, thank you for watching us. We hope you like it. Yes. Yeah. Like, share, hit and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say? Hit the bell. I say there's this uh, uh, assumption of literacy and modernity here. I don't have necessarily, but bye. <laughs>